Hi, Rich Nolan here from TrackDrive, and this video goes over how to post data in real time from your Vici dial system to TrackDrive so that as you transfer a call to either a TrackDrive uh, buyer of yours and you're not using TrackDrive or you are using TrackDrive and you want to send all your calls from one campaign instead of dialing multiple campaigns on Vici dial, you dial one campaign on Vici dial and post all your calls to a single phone number on TrackDrive and we will go ahead and route those calls for you to multiple buyers. So very advantageous. So our whole goal here is, is how to put, you know, use the web forms to put in a URL that when you click on it on the agent control center, uh, when they click on the web form one or web form two, it's going to go ahead and post the data to track drive. Um, I have had to figure this out because I only got in here a couple of days prior to making this video. But we needed the var variable in here, which basically means you're going to be doing token replacement, which in Vici dials using the a uh, dash dash a dash dash field name dash dash b dash dash to do token replacement. And then if you're using custom fields, which I highly recommend. So I do see most people I work with on Vici dial are using their standard fields only, and then they repurpose things. Like I've seen an auto and uh, auto warranty campaign where the year, make, and model are in, in address two, address three is make, you know, uh, province is model. There's really no need to do that. You can create custom fields in Vici Dial, and I don't know how to do it, and this customer let me borrow their system. I didn't have permission, so I couldn't make a video on that. But I did find a pretty good video on YouTube that I am going to have a link out to from the sheet I'm giving you. So in order to make this URL, which is what we're here for, I have created a worksheet uh, for us in Excel that's going to create these fields. Now if you try to type in these fields, they are going to tell you the sheet's protected so you don't mess up all the work I did. So there's some fields you can't work on, but fields you can work on are, are going to start building these URLs. The first URL, URL here is if you're not using custom fields. If you are using custom fields, you're going to copy and paste this one, which will allow you, you know, if you did actually do journey lead ID. Okay, so how do we do this? So there's a couple of required fields, which are going to be the phone number, uh, of course, and in Vici Dial, we call it caller ID. It's a long story why we call it caller ID, which is no track drive calls the phone number of the lead, caller ID, and then you're going to map in the phone number. Um, however, and normally you wouldn't have this, so let me get this back the way the sheet would normally be. So normally the traffic source ID is not here. Now, if you're using Vici Dial, and track drive, you also have an account with track drive, it could very well be that your sources in Vici dial use the same ID, the, uh, the same values for the traffic source ID and track drive. So if that's the case for you, you would come in and do, um, I'm not positive which one is considered the, the source, I think this is so the vendor lead code could map to the traffic source ID and track drive if you're making those the same so you can just post calls from Vici dial and know which traffic source was the source of that lead. So that would work if you have all of your data has the same traffic source ID. Now, if you're just say uh, someone working with the track drive client trying to post data to them, you can put this in as a static field like 2007. Okay, so you can see up here it's building this stuff up. Um, I just put the traffic source ID and it's got it, and it's put the token replacement for caller ID equals phone number. So all the fields that have a value over here will start building up in this, these URLs here. Now the most important thing is the lead token because that tells TrackDrive where are you trying to post this data. The lead token is associated with an offer or schedule. In this case, you're trying to send warm transfers from someone that's already done the work, the outbound dialing, so you're going to be sending it to an offer token. So where do you get this information? Well, you're going to get a sheet like this from track drive with the customer's posting instructions. Okay, so first thing we want to do is we're going to come get this ID. Now, even if you use track drive yourself, you'll get these instructions. Eventually, this will be a web form so, so that these can dynamically build. But I'm going to go ahead and take that field back to the Vici Dial URL builder and put that in here. Okay, so that's the most important thing. Now we have the lead token, so now the data knows where it's going to go in track drive. And so I got my traffic source ID and my caller. Those are the required fields. Now, if you don't have some of the fields the customer is asking for, you can undo what I've done. Or, for example, if you repurposed, like if I had sent this out with the address two here, which makes sense because they have three addresses and I have two, so address one, address two. But if you had to repurpose address two, 
you know, maybe you have to say, well, no, I, address two is an address two in my system. I have to go ahead and blank that out, and I used address two for the journey elite ID, right? So that could happen if you um, have repurposed the standard fields for Vici dial, that would happen. So this is just letting you pick through the standard fields of Vici dial or any custom fields if you've made them. So for example, if you did use the custom field build builder, uh, custom fields in Vici dial, I mean, I'd do a dash dash a dash dash journey elite ID, for example. Da, whoops, dash dash b dash dash. So that's how they do token replacement in Jornea. They begin with the dash dash a dash dash. That's saying here's the beginning of the field I want you to find in the database and replace it. They do the field name after that and then dash dash b dash dash ends that token replacement. So that's called token replacement. Now since I just put this here, if I really did have a custom field called Jornea lead ID, I can then get that and plop it in. So if you get your when you take this sheet, if you can put all your custom fields at the bottom here, and I tell you, you can start putting custom fields here, I'll work with those as well. So now, this is the end of track drive standard fields. However, if we go look at the sheet, the client has more fields than that. So I start from the, after the TCPA opt-in consent language, and I come on down and grab these fields here. Just copy those, go back to that worksheet, and paste them down here. So now I've got some more fields, and then if I, you know, let's say I'd put this in address three, or I had a custom field, whatever. Um, so whatever you're trying to map it to. So you know where your data is mapped in Beachy Dial, um, but no one else does, so you're gonna go ahead and build that. So if you're just doing the standard fields, that's all you have, have your custom fields, go ahead and put them in here. So now you can easily build up a post string to send to track drive. You're just gonna copy, paste that into the um, web form, and you're ready to send live data to track drive just before you send the call. Now, if you are on track drive, or you're not using track drive, but want to see what we do, in this Medicare offer, for example, if you're just going to go ahead and, and use Vici Dial and have one campaign for, let's say, Medicare, and dial your leads, and you find someone that's interested in being transferred, you click the transfer data to track drive from web form one or two, then you send the call. We'll pick up the call and also grab all that data that you posted to us. And then we can figure out which buyer to send it to. So in this little demo here, I, I got all these buyers here. And then I can, you know, there's things you can do in buyers here that's awesome. But one of the biggest thing is the fact that we know when people are open. So you set the time zone. You set up how many calls they can take at a time. You set up when they're actually open. So I would clear this off and then say, okay, this guy is open from 8 to noon, Monday through Saturday, takes an hour for lunch, and then he stays until 5 o'clock, Monday through Friday. So I'm setting up his hours, so now you don't have to worry about anything. So track drive is telling you when the, you know, the buyer, you're telling track drive when the buyer's open, you tell him how many agents he has available for you, take those calls, you put out how much you're going to get paid, you know, at what duration, I have this set up at $18, it's kind of silly, but $18 uh, at 120 seconds and a 60-day dtube. In track drive, we actually have real-time bidding, so you can set up a minimum bid and a maximum bid. There's a million things you can do here, but the key is to make your value of your calls much, much better. It's important to offer your clients the ability to post them the data. So in track drive, I can come in here and say, okay, I'm going to say post data to, I don't remember which buyer it is, but post data to healthcare one. And then I'm going to tell that, depending on what I'm doing, if the, if the buyer wants an email, I would say, okay, fire that after the buyer answered, because it's not mission critical that I send him the data uh, right away when it's going to be an email because obviously the phone call is going to reach him before an email probably does. And so if I'm going to send them an email as the trigger point, I would go ahead and do it after they answer. If I'm trying to send them data so they can pop their screen, I'm going to set it up to fire before I call the buyer. So I'll go ahead and create that. Now what's cool here is this is just a trigger. So I'm triggering that when this buyer is going to go ahead and take the call, what do I want to do? Well, if he's going to take a webhook, I'm going to go ahead and key this in, 
your buyer will give you posting instructions. If you're not very good at it, no problem. Track Drive will help you key those in. But I can do get, post, JSON, whatever, to get the data over to the buyer in real time. So these instructions would come from the buyer. However, you might have a buyer that says, I don't have all that. It could very well be you just give him access to Track Drive, and he can see his active calls. You give him access to see certain contact fields, and he can use your system to actually talk to the customer and know who they are when they answer the phone because they're logged into your system and you've given them access to see their active calls and they can see the active contact information on those calls. So that makes you even more uh, desirable as a lead vendor to people. The other thing we have for actions is we can send emails, send them a text, um, whatever you want to do, but it is important if you can give the people the data in real time then it makes a whole lot of sense to send your data from Vichy Dial to Track Drive. We figure out which buyer is going to make you the most money. We do have an earnings per call routing, which is amazing. So you might have this buyer that's paying you, you know, 40 bucks for a Medicare call at 120 seconds, another guy paying you $35 at 120 seconds. You would think, well, let's send it to the highest paying buyer. Well, in Track Drive, we'll go ahead and figure out if he's actually the best. So we'll start sending calls to the guy paying 40 he's not going to convert them all to 120 seconds, so all of a sudden his earnings per call falls below 35, which the other guy will pay. So we start sending it to the other guy, then he doesn't convert all the calls, and now we're actually looking at what is their actual earnings per call so that you can make the most money possible with your lead transfers to Track Drive, because throughout the day we'll figure out how much money per call that buyer's making you and give them priority in your call distribu distribution. So in a nutshell, what we're trying to do is I'm giving you this Excel file so that you can go ahead and create those web form links, which are almost impossible to do if you're not technical, but this Excel sheet that I'm giving you here will help you out. I did almost forget that in the Excel sheet, I'm putting some notes under the Notes tab, and there is a video here about how to create custom fields in Vici Dial. Um, so I didn't want to forget that, but I didn't have the opportunity to be, do that because I didn't have a Vici Dial account and I couldn't go and figure out how to do that for you. So this is how the system uh, works if you're going to use Track Drive. Uh, if someone is using Track Drive, either yourself or a buyer, and you need to post them real-time data, this is how you accomplish that task. If you have any questions, you can reach out to support at trackdrive.net, or you can contact us on Skype.